Hi, I'm Jo and welcome to Quick Fix, your vital dose of business technology inspiration. In this episode, I'll be answering a question sent in by Angelo from Maro's Hair and Beauty. Angelo has found himself in a bit of a pickle. He's got a whole bunch of email subscribers, but doesn't seem to be getting great results from his campaign. I spent hours and hours writing the perfect email newsletter, he says, but hardly anyone opens it. It's really disheartening. Well, Angelo, that is disheartening, and it's certainly something I hear a lot. You might be surprised to hear that it's actually quite an easy fix. First of all, congratulations that you've even made a start with your email marketing. Believe it or not, you are already streaks ahead of many others. But I do need to be honest here, you are never gonna get fantastic results from a blanket email blast that goes to your entire database. However, you can get some good results. So here's a few ideas I've seen that work quite well. Firstly, it's very important to keep things short and sweet. I know you've got such great news to share, but I would recommend you keep it to two or three short pieces. It's a great idea to add a human touch by featuring a little gossip about your team. It could be photos from your recent holiday, pictures of your receptionist's new baby, or news about the latest addition to your team. Now, don't be afraid to show off a bit either. There's nothing wrong with letting everyone see how great you are at your craft. Everyone loves some good before and after shots and tips and tricks on how they can achieve the latest new season look. A call to action is important too. Offer relevant and timely promotions to your clients and I can guarantee your open rate will go through the roof. Lastly, and this is often forgotten, please, please make sure you include links to your online booking, your website and your social media. It is so important. Okay, so now you've got some ideas for your newsletter, I have some other suggestions for you for targeted emails that you should be sending out. Now, you might be thinking, hang on, I'm struggling to just get one email out. But what if I told you you could set up emails that go out automatically? What I love about automated email campaigns is that they literally run themselves. Once they're set up, and it can seriously take about an hour, you can sit back and watch them work their magic. Here are four essential automated emails that should be on your must send list. Welcome new clients. This is automatically sent out the day after a new client's first visit, thanking them for choosing you and pointing them in the direction of your online booking. Thank you referrers. You already know that thanking people who refer new clients to your business is the best way to grow your clientele. Happy birthday. Everyone loves a birthday treat and nothing will make your clients happier than a timely personalized birthday wish and a gift from you. We miss you. If your clients haven't visited for a while, you can let them know how much you miss them via email too. Okay, so that's my top four. All of these emails are automatically triggered by activity in your database. Now, of course, for any of these emails to hit the mark, you need to make sure that the information you have about your clients is accurate and up to date. There is no point sending out a bunch of emails to old addresses or to people who haven't visited you in like a decade. Every email address that you have is really precious, so please treat it like you would a close friend. In fact, every email you put together should be written as though it is to a living, breathing person you truly care about. If you keep this in the back of your mind, you'll really be able to build a true connection with each of your clients. And soon, you'll be reaping the rewards of this powerful marketing tool. Thank you so much for sending in this question, Angelo. I hope that this has given you a little inspiration and some practical advice on how you can make your emails really speak to your clients. Good luck, and I can't wait to hear how you go. So now I wanna hear from all of you. Have you found yourself in a bit of a fix? Are you struggling to get your head around your business technology? Click here to send me a question, or if you'd like to hear more of my quick fix videos, click here. See you in the next episode.